with the current conflict going on between Ukraine and Russia. There is some talk of Russia selling oil for gold. Others will go to far as to say Putin is going back to the gold standard. If someone is going to be trading one commodity for another, what would be the ratio or price? In this case, it would be in terms of gold. Many people describe gold as a store of value. But in this video, I will discuss how gold is not a store of value when it comes to its relationship to oil or energy. Since gold up until 1971 was at a fixed price. Because of this I can only track the ratio of gold to oil can only be tracked from the 1970s on. There is this misconception that gold is a hedge against inflation. But is it a hedge against an energy crisis? During the 1970s there was two crises that involved oil. In both cases oil spiked up not only in dollar terms but in terms of gold as well. During these crises, oil went up to as much as 4 grams of gold per barrel of oil. The next crisis involving oil was the Gulf War of 1991. Again oil spiked in both terms of dollars but also in gold almost doubling to 3 grams of gold during the Gulf War. Throughout the 1990s this was a decade of peace. This was up until the events of September 11, 2001. Like other times of conflict and war oil prices spiked in terms of gold. This time it was the fastest spike in history. A few years later the oil price was now at a high of 4.5 grams per barrel of oil. But this time it was different. This time it was oil prices that caused war. In 2004 the United States began the invasion of Iraq. Americans were told it was about the liberation of the Iraqi people. But what it was really about was the end of cheap oil. This idea is known as peak oil. The term peak oil is falsely associated with running out of oil. When in reality it is about the peak of both conventional forms of oil production. And a peak in oil discoveries. In 2008 oil prices reached a high of $150 and were 5 grams per barrel in terms of gold. Oil was getting too expensive for the economy as a whole to handle. This resulted in a crash in oil as was as the economy as a whole. The oil prices came crashing down and we had the most significant recession since the Great Depression. As a result foe the Great Recession. The Federal Reserve decides to lower interest rates to get the economy out of the recession. Low interest rates led to companies talking on more riskier investments. In most cases low interest rates help assets like stocks or real estate prices go up. But in the case of oil, it helps keep the commodity prices down but lowers the costs of production. Whether it's stocks or real estate or oil. Low interest rates distort the true price discovery of any asset of commodity. Since this era of artificially low rates and cheap money, we have also had cheap oil prices in terms of dollars and gold. What happens when interest rates go back up to pre-crisis levels? Could it be the end of cheap oil? It was not just the great financial crisis caused by high oil prices at most of the last recessions have been due to spikes in oil prices. Over the last decade, the shale oil boom was fueled by cheap money. What happens when the shale oil boom goes bust? Can the global economy have real economic growth with high oil prices hindering it? 